Charlie Locke. Oh, yes. And uh, Connie Wilcox. Uh huh. Connie Franz. And Bernie Kohlfurst. Uh, oh, John yeah. Calvert. Yeah. His, his name is now John I Calvert. Know those guys. Yeah, we, and we were camping. Mm -hmm. And we skied into the Yoho, and Hans had a group there. He, was, he had, uh, oh, like, he had the whole hut full with a group of skiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's where I met him. And then his cook was very busy. And I had some free time, so I said I could come back and help her. So I came back and helped her for two weeks, I think it was. So that was wow. the start of it. Uh, we got married a year later. Yeah. 66. 66. Yeah. I met him at 65. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had been in nursing, actually, in Montreal, and had quit nursing. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. And shaken up the whole family, because my family are all medical. Yeah, your, so, your dad was a what your My dad was a doctor. Well, we made our life in Harvey Heights, and I loved living there. It's a fabulous place to raise children. We're actually only two other boys of their age living there. Yeah, so those were their playmates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they spend their time in the woods most of the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we were just we're just far enough from Canmore. It's about three kilometers, I think it is. But uh, it's a little too far for them to you know, be in town later at night when it gets dark. Yes. So pretty well when they came home on the school bus, they would be in the community. So it gave you a bit of parental control, actually. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But when they were in junior high school, they both got into, they both actually got onto the Alberta Junior um, Ski Jumping Program. Oh. Yeah, they had recruiters that came around to the school looking for kids that wanted to ski jump. And our kids were jumping off everything in sight but was with downhill gear. And so we thought this would be a great way to get them involved in uh, cross country skiing, which they did anyway. But the ski jumping was more fun, you know. For a kid, yeah. Yeah, so in junior high, they got to go to Thunder Bay and got to go to, out to Quebec. And oh, wow. Yeah, they had a great time. Yeah, wow. there was, uh, we had to drive a lot though up to uh, Devon, Alberta to oh. the servals who were the instigators of the cross country jumping in Canada. They had a little jump on the hill there and that was where they trained. I was a driver. So every weekend you're headed up to, going up to the flats, you know, and driving mm -hmm. up to Edmonton going, oh, <laughs> instead of leaving, being in the mountains. All right. But it was a great experience for the kids. They did that for three years. In high school, they went out to uh, Victoria for high school. Uh, they were both very good students, mm -hmm. and I have to say they were falling asleep in Canmore. Oh, right. yeah. So we thought they needed more challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they, they did very well. Great. Yeah. Conrad went on and became an architect in Montreal. Oh. At McGill, he studied at McGill. He's actually a brewer in Vancouver. He brews beer in Vancouver. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Robson was out at UBC and he was into um, environmental studies. Yeah. He became a, he was a kayak guide for many years in the summer. So he, he got to paddle trips up in Ellesmere Island, Queen Charlotte's, and South America. Wow. He, did, he did some great adventures. And in the winter? In the winter, then he got into the guiding, mountain guiding. S ski guiding. So he had his winter guide. A certification. He, he didn't take the summer rock climbing. Oh, we tried, the kids and I tried to grow carrots and things like that in the back here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just had a lot, you know, a standard lot there. Right. Yeah. 100 by 50? You couldn't, yeah, about like that. You couldn't grow, uh, you couldn't grow very much in Harvey Heights, but we always tried. <laughs> yeah. 